Again, folks, this is Wayne R back for another lesson, and that is a fantastic Foo Fighters and Learn to Fly. Absolutely stonking tune, massive fan of the Foo Fighters. So, great one to play acoustically, you know, as well as electric as well. I think it works really well acoustically. I'm going to show you a nice, you know, sort of acoustic guitar version, obviously. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over the chords to the verse. I'm going to show the little riff after that I did in the intro. But the first chord you're going to want is like a B sort of power chord. So your first finger is going to be on the A string on the second fret, your third finger on the fourth fret on the D string, and your little finger is also going to go on the fourth fret on the G string, okay? But what we're going to do, we're going to play, rather than a power chord, we're going to play all the strings open, okay? So it's going to sound like that. So that's your first chord. Your second chord is, now if you... I'm not sure what chord it is, it's some kind of A chord, but if you swap your fingers round, if you move the two fingers up a string each and the first finger down. Okay, so now your third finger is going to be on the fourth fret on the A string, the little finger is going to be underneath fourth fret on the D string, and your first finger is going to be uh, the second fret on the G string, okay? And again, we're going to play all the strings open. And then your third chord is going to be an, an E major chord. Okay, so. Okay, so the strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So down, down, up, up, down, up. So really slowly, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so around the chords that will be. Okay, I also think it's quite nice to put an E sus4 chord in every now and again, sort of, you know, at the end of, you know, not not at sort of every line, but just sort of in, between some of the verse lines. Uh, and that would be putting the little finger on the G string on the second fret. That's just tucking your little finger in underneath the third finger. That would give us an E sus4 chord. So let me give you a little demonstration of that. Okay, the little riff that goes over the top, obviously, of what the other what the other guitarist is doing, it's just like an octave chord. So that will be on the second fret on the A string with the first finger. Now the third finger is going to go on the fourth fret on the G string. So we're actually missing a string, but what we've got to do, we've got to mute that string. And you normally do that by you know slightly lying your first finger down, just sort of over the top of of the D string. So so you get that sort of thing. So it'll be a slide that up to the 4th fret, 
And what we do then, we do like a, a little semitone bend. Now we have to sort of, rather than bend up, you're going to be pulling down on the strings. So that would be... lift off with the first finger so you get an open A string note so really slowly okay so I'm just going to sing the verse through so that will be with the chords to a G chord and up to an A. Now I Dave Dave Grohl plays this instead of doing a regular G. You can do that if you want. It still works. Going to an A chord. But this chord, the same sort of thing is sort of a if, if you do a bar chord, a G major bar chord, it will be doing the same sort of thing that as sort of a power chord. So we lift the bar off and we're just gonna be having the, the G note in and you get the bottom two strings open then it gives the chord a lovely sort of shimmy so it's going to be a G make my way back home and I learn to E major now the first time round it's going to do that once the second time round after the verse and the chorus it's going to do that bit twice and then it's going go into the, the bridge bit the middle eight part which I'm going to go over in a minute so mm. make my way back home and I learn to fly Make my way back home and I'll learn to Okay, so the bridge bit will be the B chord Fly up. A regular G this time Way with me We go with D E Then we go back into the G Again, we go with the B Fly up. G D Back into the regular. Look into the sky to save me. Okay, and that's pretty much all you're gonna need. All that's gonna happen is the end, is it? it... You're gonna finish on the B chord. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Huge fan of the Foo Fighters, you know. There'll be more Foo Fighters to come. Any request for any, you know, you're, you're welcome. Particularly the, the, you know, the latest album, Sonic Highways. If anyone hasn't seen the, the uh, documentaries that they did, you've got to go and watch them. You can now get them on DVD. And the good news is there's going to be a, another season, which I'm really thrilled about. So uh, it just leaves me to say thanks very much for watching. Uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed. I really, really do appreciate it. And I've had some really great comments. You know, it really means a lot. You know, I really enjoy doing this for you guys. And, it, you know, it makes a difference when, it, it, you know, you get good feedback from it. So uh, I'll catch you for another lesson very soon. Take care.